Too Many Cooks is a short that once aired on Adult Swim. It's since then been uploaded to their official YouTube channel and has gained a lot of attention, even known by people who don't even watch their network ever, probably. It features a near never ending sitcom intro, and it parries a lot of the stupid cliches that you would find in those and even goes into some other genres. Things get especially dark and weird once you notice that there's a murderer stalking the cast for the whole entire time, and also ends up killing and eating a number of them. Due to the clip's sheer popularity, it's at the very top of the iceberg. In an interview with Eric Andre on his TV show, Eric said that he was going to put Seth's phone number on the screen. Seth obviously asked him not to do that, and then to the mild surprise of many, they flashed on Seth Rogen's actual legitimate phone number. I'm not showing it on here just because, but you can easily find the clip on YouTube. It's very well known from one of their most popular shows, and thus it's all the way up here on the iceberg. Since 2004, Adult Swim has done an April Fool's prank every night for that year. And these can range from putting mustaches or fart sound effects on the shows, to airing them a bunch of times, or to even premiering brand new or never before seen stuff and bringing back Toonami. These are pretty well known amongst the general fan base and are just a fun anomaly you can stumble upon once a year. Unedited footage of a bear is very similar to Too Many Cooks, as in it's a disturbing, odd short that Adult Swim aired one time and then uploaded on their official YouTube channel and has since gained a lot of traction even by people who probably don't even watch the network. While not quite as popular as Too Many Cooks, it's still pretty well known for its theme and disturbing imagery. It starts out with a bear and then cuts to a... Uh, what seems like a normal pharmaceutical commercial for allergy medication, but there are some things that are off if you have a keen eye or have seen it enough times. And it eventually delves into the dark side effects to taking those prescription drugs that you see on TV often enough. It's a whole entire mess that you could just see yourself easily. It's become pretty well-known knowledge that a lot of the shows on Adult Swim use improv for their writing and jokes unscripted. And it fits really well, just like the quirky and goofy atmosphere a lot of these shows come up with. While not the only example, the most well-known one seems to be the interdimensional cable shows in Rick and Morty, where the show even lampshades it itself. The Boston Moon Night Panic was an instance in 2007 where Adult Swim put up late images of the Moon Knight characters from Aqua Teen Hunger Force around Boston. This was just done to promote the show and its movie coming up at the time. However, this happening in the US, that means anything that isn't at all familiar or different to you instantly means that it's out to completely kill you. And of course, the news stations completely ate that up and decided to report on it with full of exaggerations and lies and a lack of real info and research, as one could expect. And people also ate that up. It became this whole entire terrorist bomb scare, and right now it's just a pretty infamous and stupidly looked back instance that's pretty known when it comes to infamous Adult Swim history, and so it's at the tip here. When the heart she holler was new, Adult Swim decided that the best way to promote it was to randomly air bumpers with absolutely no context of the series mascot that you can see here laughing maniacally and spitting black around and such. These ended up becoming pretty infamous for disturbing and scaring people and creeping them out to the point where people were even complaining about them airing. It's probably more well known than the show even, so it's at the tip here. If you ask me personally though, I always
always kind of thought that the bumpers were just trying too hard and they never bothered me much, but hey, to each their own. All kids off the pool, is the line said in the original Adult Swim bumpers when the block first started, with all the old men swimming around the pool area. This being the start in the bumpers for a while, they're pretty famous for how the series began, and if somebody came to the channel after this era, it's still pretty easy for them to go and find it if they're ever at all curious. The Dawn is Your Enemy is possibly one of the most famous bumpers from the channel due to its sheer creepiness and disturbing kids when it came out, which most people think was the actual intent of the bumper. Due to its imagery and music and the idea of just finding it in the middle of the night as a child, it's become really famous and talked about and has even spun off fan-made sequels, quote-unquote, and creepypastas, but those can be talked about later on in the series. It's basically the epitome when it comes to Adult Swim's really creepy and weird bumpers, especially the intentional ones, and so it's at the tip here. Toonami's back, bitches, is the famous line said by Tom when Adult Swim announced that the block would be starting back up on their channel. And it came as a surprise, not only was it a grand big deal that it was back, but also to hear Tom use the word bitches, just because obviously he was on Cartoon Network before and never used language that far. And it became pretty popular to requote and while talking about your excitement for the block coming back. So it's really well known and still associated back then when the bumper was coming back. But... Surprisingly, it seems a bit hard to find the original line of Tom saying Toonami's back bitches, like I couldn't even find it on YouTube that easily. But anyway, with that, that ends the tip, and be on the lookout for the next video which will go over the surface. Thank you.